All movement, whether it's moving, passing, or shooting, start with the inside of the foot. Of the four sides of the foot, this is the most utilized and hence most important to learn. And learn early in your development. We're about to demonstrate the movement with the inside of the foot. How important is that surface in relation to fundamental training and elite training? Extremely important. I mean, the inside of the foot is, is the biggest surface. It's the one that we use to control the ball the most. And, um, you know, with this skill, it's about cutting the ball. You know, cutting against the grain, being able to change directions at a high speed. And, you know, first fundamental skill is doing it slowly, getting the movement down, and then taking it to the elite level is doing it under high speed, under tough conditions, um, under tight space, and, and that's what we're hoping to share with the kids today. Great. Kick it. The ability of Mia Hamm to use the inside of her foot to manage the ball is a critical component of her success. The ball is always under control, even when she changes speed and direction. Watch closely her balance, how she prepares the ball, her change of direction and her change of speed. And from this angle, you can see how light she is on her feet even though she is training at a higher speed. Don't be afraid to try and train at a really high speed and try to keep the ball under control. Practicing at this pace without worrying about mistakes will ultimately benefit you at game time. Kick it. For the shadow play drill, we have a 15 by 15 yard box. Four players with the ball and four passive defenders. As the drill begins, the passive defenders move around the box, forcing the players with the ball to use the inside of their foot to change direction and find space. This can be used as a great warm-up drill. Here we go. Nice and sharp. <clears throat> That's it. And accelerate after you Good your job. There you go. Really Excellent. And Keep accelerate out into a gap. And switch colors. Give him the ball. Keep it prepared. See it red. Switch. Once you change direction, change speed. Let's see it. Let's see it. Accelerate good. out, Travis. And accelerate out of that. Good job. Let's see it. Chop it. OK, good. Cut and accelerate. Good. Accelerate. That's good. it. That's it. Cut it. Accelerate good. after you cut it, Travis. You want to get on the other side of the ball. Let's see you get on the other side. And of the ball. hold it there. Good. Good job. Remember, as you're doing this drill, I want you to remember a couple of things. Stay light on your feet so you're ready to adjust to any movement of the ball. Make sure that the ball is always prepared, so it's always out in front of you, ready for service. And the final thing is that when you change direction, make sure you change speed and explode out of the move. OK, now let's take it to the highest level we possibly can. Let's really get on our technical edge and go at full game speed. If you need to chop two or three times, let's do it. Okay, Blue has the ball, let's go. Here we go, Blue. Find a gap. Cut it, cut it, cut, cut it. Cut into there and accelerate. Good job, good oh, job. Let's see it. There. Full speed, chop. Excellent. And accelerate accelerate out. out. Accelerate it's out. Okay, it's okay. Double chop if you need to. Chop and accelerate. Good. And switch. Okay, Reds, jump in. Let's see good if you job, can accelerate Blues. a little faster than that. See it. Chop it. Accelerate. Once you plant your foot, accelerate out. Good. Chop it. And go, well and go, done, and go, well and go, and go, and accelerate. Excellent, right. excellent, right. good job. Chop and it on relax. the other good side. Work. Good work. Kick it. When you're working on this skill, you want to concentrate on having good balance while being light on your feet. You want to try and prepare the ball out in front of you under control. And use the inside of your foot to change direction and speed, always keeping the defender off guard. If you do these three things while practicing the shadow play drill, you will become a much more proficient dribbler and a more potent offensive player.